Welcome to Japanese Cooking 101. Today we are making Furofuki Daikon, thick cut daikon radish cooked in dashi broth and served with seasoned miso sauce poured on top. These are the ingredients. Daikon is in season during winter and we would like to use a thick daikon like this if possible. For more information and complete recipe, please visit our website japanesecooking101.com. First, we are going to cut the daikon. Cut it into thick slices, about one and a half inches long. Peel the skin. And using a small knife, cut the edges at an angle to make them smooth. This is called mentori, and it's one of the important techniques in Japanese cooking. Removing the edges or corners helps keep vegetables from falling apart in the process of cooking in boiling liquid. Put daikon pieces and water in a pot. And we are going to add some rice. An enzyme from rice helps to tenderize daikon radish. Cook at medium-high heat until just boiling. Lower the heat. Cover and cook until soft for 30 to 40 minutes. Remove from the heat and now the daikon is all soft. Remove it from the water and wash or rinse in the room temperature water to remove the rice. In a large pot, put daikon and kombu dashi broth. Check out our kombu dashi recipe if you haven't already. Soft cooked daikon pieces will absorb gentle umami from the kombu. Cook for 20 to 30 minutes at medium low heat. Keep hot while making the sauce. In a small pot, put miso, sugar, midin, and dashi. The same kombu dashi that we used earlier. Then cook until thickened, stirring constantly. The miso paste we use today is Shinshu miso, a kind of white miso, but you can use any kind of miso you have for this dish. You may want to adjust the amount of sugar depending on the type of miso you use. Turn off the heat and mix in grated yuzu zest. Yuzu gives a nice fragrant citrus flavor, but it's hard to find outside of Japan. If you can't find it, you can just leave it out. Daikon pieces are kept hot in the dashi broth until ready to serve. For each serving, place a daikon piece in a dish and pour the sauce over. Top with yuzu for garnish. There are quite a few steps involved to make this vegetable dish, but the result is worth it. Kombu dashi flavor is so delicate and the soft daikon almost melts in your mouth. Hope you enjoy this traditional Japanese side dish.